Hi, welcome to the Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike Danzilio. And I'm co-host, Matt Dalton. And here at the Deck Network, it is all decks all the time. All right, Matt, let's get going on the show. Now, Big we're show just, today. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about hardware for decks. But first, let's get to uh, some of the emails that we received. Now, this one is from a Tom from near Chicago somewhere. Yeah, I've been watching some of your videos on YouTube and was wondering if you could send me some additional information on composite decking. I have a fairly large deck now which is cedar and is about 15 years old and basically it's starting to rot. Mm. I'm also tired of cleaning and sealing this every year so I'm starting the process of trying to determine what type of decking to use to replace this. I live in the Midwest around Chicago and my head is spinning trying to determine what would be the least amount of maintenance and which product to use the best. I'm also concerned about price, which I'm sure most people that you talk to are. Who if you could forward days? me with a list of your recommendations and uh, and would cost to be to do this, I would appreciate that. Now, I'm going to read the answer that I just sent to him. Now, that's a great question, Tom. It depends on what you're interested in. Straight composite decking has a very good look, but it will fade, stain, and mold. Cap composite pricing starts at the same price as standard composite decking and has a fade and stain warranty. PVC decking looks great but is more fragile and will fade a little bit. The best value in decking this year is the TimberTech Earthwood Evolution Terrain Series. It has a great look with a very good price point. We also need to, you to narrow down your likes and dislikes, the color of your house in trim and the overall motif. Now, you can't. I need to see a picture of the house and what it is and before I can give any recommendations because you know Matt is our local... Uh, He's our fashion consultant here. Fashionista. Now, if you, now, if you had a gray suit uh -huh. on, you wouldn't wear a brown belt and brown shoes. No. Would you? You'd wear black. You need to be up to speed with what looks good together, and it seems like with building the deck, it's very similar. Yeah, so you want, again, we want to have our, our inside of our house go to the outside. We want things to match, and so and sometimes I need a little bit more information. So let's get right into this video on hardware. Hardware made easy. All right. Well, we'll see about that. Okay. Okay. So. All right, today we're going to talk about hardware for decks. And I always say that the Simpson company makes the best hardware. They have the best engineering, the best testing. So I buy everything Simpson. As we always talk about, we want to have a solid connection. So if we look down here, we have our solid connection starts at the ground. We have a 10 inch sauna tube and we have a post support on that. So that particular post support has this bolt into the cement it comes up a little bit and it's attached to this, this post support in here. Now there's many different types of post supports. There's that one there. Our better contractors like this one here. This is what goes into the cement goes through here, holds it really tight. You're able to put your 6x6 six six in there and you'll put your joist hanger nails right in here, not sheetrock screws or roofing nails. So in these two on the 6x6, six six, then we want to bring our connection all the way up. Usually when you have a 6x6 six six coming up to a beam, it goes to a triple 2x12 beam. So we'd use a part like this. Our friends at Simpson has this real nice part. It's five and a half inches wide right here. And it goes to the four and a half with a triple 2x. That fits in there beautifully. As you can see over here, we have the same setup with the 4x4s. We, we have the same type of connections all the way up, a little smaller. When we have our beam to joist connection, we always want to use a hurricane tie. This one here is real nice. This one's a standard H2.5Z by Simpson. I kind of like this one. A lot of framers will use this one here. It's just a little bit different. You would use this one in a when on a house rafters, you'd have it up in the your wall and you would run your rafters this way. And that works real nice, a little unnecessary for a deck. On the joist hangers, you know, this is a standard joist hanger, two by eight variety. And what a lot of people don't know is that you're supposed to use a three inch nail coming in across through the sides here and the one and a half inch going into the ledger. So if this was the other side of the ledger and your joist went through like this on the angle and the shorter ones go in right there, that's a proper connection. All right, so we're going to look at this one over here. 
Again, we have our solid 6x6 six six connection, and if you want to use a double 2x12 instead of a triple, then you can use this part. It's a very versatile part. You can put it on top of a six, go fit 6x6 six six that way. You can put it this way. I've seen it used multiple different ways. I've seen it used like that. Real nice versatile part. Simpson also has one in a 4 inch variety. Let's talk about some post supports again. This one here is called a PB44Z and this one is a PB66Z. It's going to give you the least expensive solid connection because these little squiggles in there go into the cement. It, uh, it ties it in but what it doesn't have is it doesn't have that one inch standoff like this particular one has and uh, my friend Brett from Simpson, we uh, did a show last year and he said that this is very important to have the one inch standoff. You want to keep your wood dry. Now if you've been watching the uh, Deck Network, you've seen me talk about the Trex Elevation steel framing and of course Simpson has some great parts for that. Now this isn't just necessarily made for the steel framing, but it just shows real well how it works. They have hit for a 6x6 gives a nice stiff connection. They also have it in the 4 inch variety. You've seen me talk about this product because of course I like it. Now if you have a deck, think of a second floor deck that's 12 feet out and 20 feet long, you only need two footings. So this will certainly pay for itself. It's something to think about. If you're a second floor deck and you want to be underneath and you want to have a clear sight line, this product will work great for it. So if you do, are using the uh, elevation steel framing, these are the joists. And of course, our friends at Simpson have all sorts of different hardware. This particular one is a uh, L70Z. Fits right in here. You, you use the self-tapping galvanized steel screws. And then you'll there's some ceramic paint that the same paint that they use to coat this, you just spray it on there after that, cleans it up nice, makes it look very, very clean. All right, now we're going to look at stair hardware. And this stairs need a little more strength. Think about two guys going up a set of stairs with a refrigerator that weighs 300 pounds. There is a lot of concentrated weight. That's why stairs need to be stronger than the standard deck. Stairs, you should be putting your stringers 12 inches on center. You want to make it stronger, 100 pounds per square foot. So Simpson has some great parts, inexpensive parts. This piece right here works great on the side of the, uh, the stair stringer. Gives you plenty of nailing going up the line. $1.50 these cost. This, these two straps right here, see the problem is we have our frame here and we want our stairs to be a little bit lower. So we have to, we need nailing down here. So if you just put another 2x8 or 2x10 below here and put these straps on and some in the back, you and put of course the proper nailing, you're going to get a very strong set of stairs. Very inexpensive parts. As I said, this is $1.50. These are about $1.30. That's insurance. If you're not using them, I don't know what the heck you're going to use because these are inexpensive and they work great. They save you some time. This is how a set of stairs should be done. Good, strong set of stairs. All right, that's it for hardware. All right, Matt, what did you think Good of video. that video? Great okay. video. You know, we... We talk about this almost every week and if you're a homeowner and you're going to have your deck built this year or next year, you want to have some questions ready because if you don't ask them about this, it's probably not going to get done. Remember, we have to have a solid connection from the ground up to the deck. So you'll have your sauna tube, which again, Matt is a professional on that. You want to have some sort of bolt like this into the cement into attach to this uh, type of post support or this type here which is actually a little bit nicer the cement will go through here and once it's hardened up it's good and stiff you'll have your 4x4 four four or your 6x6 six six. you'll come up to what we call this sort of a cap piece that's made by Simpson works great you'll have the frame of your deck and you need to attach that to your beam or down to the, your footings everything has to be solid so you can use this little uh, product here it's a uh, hurricane tie Everything has to be all tied together. The, uh, the little section that we had on stairs is so important because 
it, to me, it's almost shocking that the total cost for the hardware for the stairs is less than twenty dollars, and. That's an insurance policy that's worth worth yeah, taking out. If you don't use these things, you'll spend more time, more money doing it the wrong way. Or God just, forbid, just, if, if, if it comes down, just do it the right way. I've been getting some uh, hate mail from contractors that I'm I'm, uh, I'm you, educating. You're spilling the beans, Mike. Yeah. You're showing too much of the behind the the mirror here. Well, these contractors, if you don't t ask them what they're going to do, or it says it in their contract. They're going to cut corners. And unless you are a contractor, you won't know any of these things. And don't be hard on yourself if it's all new to you. It's getting the information and finding out what is needed for your deck. And by watching these videos, you're taking the first step. And you're going to be, have a much better built deck as a result so of it. So be cautious. Ask the questions. We're going to put together a, uh, a Word document with all these little products on them so you can see it. And maybe I think I'm going to try to find a contract and put it up online so it'll you can use that. Yeah, what, what do you think a contractor is going to say when you say, I have a contract here that I want you to sign? He probably won't like it, but you know well, what? You're protecting yourself. Well, that, well, a contract is not one way. A contract is for protection of both parties. And uh, we can get into that when we can talk about contracts someday. Yeah, we'll bring a lawyer in or something. Okay. Well, that might not so, be again, if you have your designs, you can uh, forward them to either Mike at the Deck Network or... I'm up and running, Matt at the Deck Network .com. So you can uh, ask me deck questions and maybe some fashion or makeup questions from Matt. For myself, I'll bring my stylist and we'll okay. have her cc on the email. What was her name? Uh, Juanita. <laughs> oh, you changed it? Yeah, she got, Consuelo. Yeah, Consuelo. There were some budget cuts and there were some things with a green card. So she we got brought deported. Him. Yeah, could have been. Could have been. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's it for today's show. A lot of fun. Uh, if you have any questions, just forward them to us. Tell all your friends. Watch the Deck Network. Share us on the social media. We love all the likes that we're getting and the views. Keep them coming our way. All right. That's it for today. Have a great day. See you later and ciao for now. Bye now.